Mr. President. Is it now the right time that we also require when one enters the government through an appointment or an elective position to perhaps declare? Do you have a relative within the fourth degree of consanguinity who is a member of a terrorist organization? Who is a member who is, who is an affiliate of an organization that seeks to overthrow the Republic of the Philippines? Mr. President, a lot of us have applied for visas coming from several countries. If you apply for an Australian visa, you will be asked, are you a member of a paramilitary group that seeks to overthrow your government or any government overseas? Of course, your answer will be no. If you apply for a U.S. visa, Mr. President, you will be required to answer, are you a member or affiliated with a group inclined to overthrow your government? Or are you affiliated with a terror group? Bakit po sa atin? Walang ganyan. Sa atin po ang nire-require lang natin, salen. Meron ka pang, meron ka bang kamag-anak na nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno, kahit po mababang pwesto, kahit barangay official, di-declare po natin. Yun po yun nasa batas. Bakit po hinahayaan natin? And I'm now, I am not ascribing any fault on the part of Mr. Popoy de Vera. Kapatid lang po niya yun. Pero she is right. Baka nga po hindi niya alam kung anong ginagawa ng kanyang kapatid who is now detained in the Iloilo Provincial Jail. Baka wala talaga siyang alam. We have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Perhaps he's correct. He's presumed, she is presumed innocent. Subalit, kaya ko po sinasabi to. Perhaps in higher, in other branches of government, there might be some people connected to incumbent officers who might have access to confidential information that might endanger national security. I might be right, Mr. President, because there are several sensitive positions in government which perhaps our intelligence community can no longer be able to monitor, Mr. President. I'm saying this, Mr. President, not because I am imputing bad faith on the part of a fellow government servant. I am saying this, Mr. President, is because it is now the right time to change some of our laws, some of our rules. While we admit that we committed several mistakes when we passed that Dantai terror bill, whose provisions were declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court itself, perhaps the right to preserve, to protect our society is primordial. And let me quote, and let me quote Article 2, Section 5 of our Constitution. The maintenance of peace and order, the protection of life, liberty, property, and the promotion of the general welfare are essential for the enjoyment by all the people of the blessings of democracy. Again, I reiterate, yesterday we commemorated National Heroes Day. And every Monday, in all government offices, during flag-raising ceremonies, including our own, including the Senate, all employees would raise their right hands. Ako ay nanunumpa na magiging tapat sa watawat ng Pilipinas, etc., etc. And when we assume office after being elected or after being appointed, we also subscribe to the same oath. Ako si nanahalal o nahirang sa katungkulan bilang ay taimtim na nanunumpa, natuto pa rin ko ng buong husay at katapatan sa abot ng aking kakayahan at babanggitin po doon ang saligang batas ng Pilipinas at kasama na rin po yung binanggit ko na dapat protektahan ang life, liberty, and property. Mr. President, I pose this question not because I am against Popoy de Vera. I pose this question because we have to have a semblance of a strong government. I pose this question, Mr. President, not just because we commemorated yesterday the National Heroes Day. I pose this question that perhaps creeping within the bureaucracy are anti-heroes or unheroes or non-heroes that might endanger the very fabric of our democratic way of life. Maraming salamat, Mr. President. I ask, I said a while ago that I wish, not, I wish not to be interpolated, but because I took the time of Senator Robin Hood Padilla, but now I see the hands, the hand of a, uh, the hands of my uh, Blue Ribbon colleagues who failed to uh, offer me lunch. Mr. President, with your permission, I'll take uh, uh, 
one question each from one of them before I, give, I yield the floor to yes, Senator Yes, we'd like to appeal.